We're very proud to be able to present the most comprehensive selection of Shirley Clark's work there has ever been. Um, anything that's gone before has usually focused solely on the three most prominent titles, The Connection, The Cool World and Portrait of Jason. However, what we're attempting to do is to not only review those titles, but to also explore the groundbreaking shorts and documentaries concerning her that are in existence, but just seldom seen. Her debut film, The Connection, establishes many themes that were to run through Clark's work for the rest of her career. Um, the jazz theme, for instance, is especially prominent in The Connection. Two of the cast members being Freddie Red and Jackie McLean, the legendary Blue Note musicians. Um, they had also appeared in the stage play from which the film was adapted. And during the run of the stage show, they developed the songs that would become the essential soundtrack to The Connection. sounds like such a simple premise initially. Some junkies wait in a New York apartment for their connection to arrive with their drugs. And whilst doing so, they listen to jazz, bicker, philosophize and internalize. But once you've added the genius of Shirley Clark to the mix, this becomes an entirely different proposition. The man is you. You are the man. You are your own connection. It starts and it stops here. It was during the filming of The Connection that Clark met Carl Lee, a powerful black actor who was to prove hugely significant in both Clark's personal life and her working career. The Cool World is an absolutely incredible and groundbreaking film that's among my personal favourite pieces of Clark's work. It was the first commercial feature film to be shot on the streets of Harlem and employed a cast from a mainly non-acting background. The real genius of the film lies in Clark's use of the location. She chooses to portray Harlem as not just a backdrop, but as a central, pivotal character in the film. Miss Shirley Clark, portrait of Jason, roll one, sound one. Okay, roll it, sound roll it. Camera Okay, Jason. Go. My name is Jason Holliday. Jason Holliday is just an incredible human being, and once you've met him through the film, I can guarantee that you will never forget him. From stays in prison and psychiatric hospitals to experiments with prostitution, dreams of becoming a nightclub entertainer, and the piece de resistance, his incredible Mae West impression. You may not be no oil painting, but you're a fascinating monster. <laughs> Clark's final film, Ornette, Made in America, is an innovative study of the jazz legend Ornette Coleman. This film is where it all comes together for Clark. All the themes that had run through her whole career are finally tied together in one fantastic, experimental exploration of a truly great musician. Shirley, uh, are you an underground filmmaker? <laughs> Want to start something? <laughs> well, not with you, I'd be scared. <laughs>